It says, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy and by our cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You who are lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and unshimable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you have called to govern, grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop Isaiah and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among people. Doxa in ipsistis teoke, pigis irinin in anthropis evdokia. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among people. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Kyrie ta hili mu anixis, ta stoma mu anangritis en esisu. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who are foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hands rest on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and my mother live out down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and even the light of my eyes, this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stands far off, and those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on this seed all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are becoming stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God, do not depart from me. Give it to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Give it to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you. In a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you. To see your power and your glory, because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you with my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if we marrow in fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you, with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I pondered on, your, on you at daybreak. 
For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand holds me, takes hold of me. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxa siu teos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline my, your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul was filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead. Like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They lay me in the lowest pit in dark places in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to his, Israel's children. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the heights of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him. And his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepare his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall be justified in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old. And I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. 
Make me know, O Lord, the way when I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 doxa so Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God, our hope, O oh Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Isaiah, <coughs> the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> for this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For all our brothers and sisters who lead the fight against the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, most and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Give thanks unto the Lord. This came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Bethlehem, prepare, Eden is open unto all, and be ready, Ephrata, for the tree of life as in the grotto blossom forth from the virgin. Indeed, her womb be shown to be spiritually a paradise, in which is found a God-planted tree. And if we eat from it, we shall live and shall not die as in the Adam of old. Christ is born so that he might raise up the formerly fallen image. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, your own you, Lamb Christ, to you, loudly, O Jesus, and
and she says, For my bridegroom do I long, and seeking you I now contend. And I am crucified and buried with you in your baptism. I suffer for your sake that I may reign with you. I die for you that I may also live with you. Accept me as an unblemished sacrifice as I offer myself to you with love. At her entreaties and intercession, save our souls, O merciful Lord. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. O Bethlehem, prepare the knees open unto all, and be ready, Ephrata, for the tree of life. As in the grotto blossom forth from the virgin, indeed her womb be shown to be spiritually a paradise, in which is found a God planted tree. And if we eat from it, we shall live and shall not die, as it Adam did of old. Christ is born, said that they may raise up the formerly fallen image. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our all holy, most pure and blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Inspired by God, let creation today be glad, for Christ the Lord, the Son of our God, is born of a pure maiden, so making the whole human race immortal and abolishing the curse of the poor mother Eve. And so as to our benefactor, let us bring a song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Inspired by God, let creation today be glad. For Christ the Lord, the Son of our God, is born of a pure maiden, so making the whole human race immortal and abolishing the curse of the four mother Eve. And so as to our benefactor, let us bring a song. Joseph the just, I see him the virgin, who bore the pre-eternal word. Cried out, I see you who have become the temple of the Lord, bearing the one who come to save all mortals and who shows those who praise him to be temples through pity of the divine doxa patrike yokia yoknehmati keninkiai keistu seonas tone oron amin joseph the just a him the virgin who bore the preternal word, cried out, I see you, who have become the temple of the Lord, bearing the one who has come to save all mortals, and who shows those who praise him to be temples to be the of the divine. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. And according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. 
Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you will judge. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and since my mother bore me, behold, you love truth, you show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For if you desire sacrifice, I will give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar. Those in trials and tribulations hasten to your temple and receive the revered gift of the divine grace, which dwells in you, Anastasia. For you ever pour out healings for the world. For you pour out healings for the world. Named with the name of the Lord's resurrection, now by your prayers raise me who have fallen, letting a drop of your wonders fall on my soul, O martyr, and quench the flame of dread sin. For you save the world each day from passions of many kinds, which with I too have been tried, for granting all things to all, you pour out healings for the world. You pour out healings for the world. On December 22nd, we commemorate the holy great martyr Anastasia, the pharmacist. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Chrysogonos. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Theodota and her children. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Zoilos. On this day was the door opening of the great Church of God. On this day was the procession with lights at the Church of God. By the intercessions of your saints, O Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. <clears throat> Let us honor and magnify the Theotokos and the Mother of Light with hymns. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God a word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly estate of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Tinti mi oteran ton heruvim, ken doxoteran as in gritos ton serafim. Tina di aftoros te on logon te kusan, tinondos te utukon. He has shown might with his strength, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in Seraphim, 
Tina di aftoros te o logon te kusan, tinon dos te o tukon se megalino men. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God a word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. You are the Theotokos, literally, O Virgin, and we confess it, for we have been saved through you. Whom we, O pure one, we choirs of angels magnify. It is truly right to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure, and mother of our God, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God a word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, holy blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Glorious Virgin Martyr, splendor of all champions, always Anastasia, do not cease to implore the one who is now coming to be born, O Virgin Maiden, to pure Mother of God, in a cave and a manger to ground release from sins to all who celebrate your all holy memory and honor you with love your light bearing memorial martyr anastasia Proclaims in advance Christ's nativity in Bethlehem. As it summons magi from the Persia with gifts, a shepherd with angels to sing in praise for you, offered yourself like gold. Incense and myrrh to your master when you struggled in the contest, O wise in God.
Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars and light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name for he spoke and they were made. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and unto the ages of ages. He set forth his ordinance and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deeps, fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind, which perform his word, mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things, all flying birds, kings of the earth, and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. A hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praises in the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with hands, with tambourine and harp, let them sing to him. Every one shall boast in glory, and they shall be, and they shall greatly rejoice in their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the peoples. To shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To fulfill among them the written judgment, his glory have all his holy ones. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Can you start that? Do you want to, can you please start that one? Can you please start this one? I don't know if I remember it. Is it the Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Now all the ancient images are being discharged, for the virgin is with child. The stone has been cut from the mountain. Jesse's rod has blossomed, and Gideon's dew has now been poured out on earth. Peoples, let us cry out, the King of Israel, Christ is at hand. Praise Him with the sound of trumpet. <laughs>
Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. The one who worked wonders and smote Egypt, rain on the ungrateful people. Becomes incarnate and suckles at the breast. Seen as a little child, he flees from Herod. Become born on the Virgin Mother as on a light cloud. As Isaiah, the most visionary of prophets foresaw. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. The pre-existent child king of the ages is willing grief brought to God and is given will give birth to a little child 
ο Θεό Αγίο Ισχυρό, Αγίο Αθάνατο, Ρέισον ημά. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Your own new lamb cries to you loudly, O Jesus, and she says, For my bridegroom do I long, and seek him now I contend, and I am crucified and buried with you in your baptism. I suffer for your sake that I may reign with you. I die for you that I may also live in you, Accept me as an unblemished sacrifice, as I offer myself to you with love, and her entreaties and intercessions. Save our soul, O merciful Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Isaiah, the Honorable Presbyters, the deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, for all in public service and the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. It is good to confess unto the Lord and to chant unto your name, O Most High. By the prayers of the Theotokos, save your us. To proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Tes presvias tis Theotoku, soter sosonimas. The Lord my God is upright and there is no wrong doing in Him. 
by the prayers of the Theotokos, save your Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady to Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> the Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. The Lord clothed and guarded himself with power. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified. We sing to you, Alleluia. And he established the world which shall not be moved. So, Sony Masi Etheu, O Enagist of Mastos, Salondasi, Alleluia. Holiness is, your prop, is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified, we sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal one, who for our salvation did so humble yourself by taking on flesh, taking flesh by, by the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, without change did you become man, and were crucified Christ our God, but conquered by your death. As one of the Holy Trinity, and being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O Bethlehem, prepare the is open unto all, and be ready, Ephrata, for the tree of life, as in the grotto blossom forth from the virgin. Indeed, her womb be shown to be spiritually a paradise, in which is found a God-planted tree, and if we eat from it, we shall live and shall not die, as Adam did of old. Christ is born so that he might raise us up, the formerly fallen image. We 
O Master, who loves mankind, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind that we may comprehend the proclamation of your Gospels. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having trampled down all carnal desires, we may lead a spiritual life, both thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ our God, are the illumination of our souls and bodies, and to you we offer up glory, together with your Father, who is without beginning, in your all-holy and good and life-creating spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. The righteous man shall be glad in the Lord and shall hope in him. Hear my voice, O God, in my supplication. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, let us fear lest any of you be judged to have failed to reach it. For behold, news came to us just as to them, but the message which they heard did not benefit them because it did not meet with faith in the hearers. For we who have believed enter that rest as he has said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall never enter my rest, although his works were finished from the foundations of the world. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place he said, they shall, they shall never enter my rest, since therefore it remains for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience. Again, he sets a certain day. Today, saying through David so long afterward, in the words already quoted, today, today when, I, when you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later of another day. So then there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For whoever enters God's rest also ceases from his labors as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest, that no one fall by the same sort of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are open and lay bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. The reading is from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, the Pharisees came up to Jesus in order to test him and asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? They said Moses allowed a man to write a certi certificate of divorce and to put her away. But Jesus said to them, For your hardness of heart he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. 
So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And in the house the disciples asked him again about this matter. And he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. That gospel had nothing to do with the life of Saint Anastasia. It's just part of the regular lectionary leading up to the Feast of Christmas. <clears throat> For those Anastasias that we have, and I know we have one here, and I know we have one, at least one more coming, I wish you many, many years. Anastasia was born in Rome and she was born into a wealthy and prominent Roman family. Her father was a pagan senator, and her mother was a faithful Christian. It was her mother who raised her to believe in Christ. And she believed from probably as early as she could remember. And as she grew, she became beautiful because of the senatorial and prominent family in which she was raised. She was very well educated. And her father married her to a man named Publius Patricius. And Publius was a pagan as well. Not only was he a pagan, but he was immoral and indecent in his behavior, and he treated Anastasia very harshly. Thank God, by God's providence, um, he died not long after they were married, and so she was widowed very early. She then took her money and keep in mind that this was under the Emperor Diocletian. And when I used to read the lives of saints to my children, and whenever they would hear Diocletian, they would go, ooh, because they knew what was coming next. It was always the story of a martyr. Because for whatever reason, Diocletian hated Christians. So Anastasia had heard about martyrdoms. And she knew that many of the martyrs were tortured and ill-treated before they were finally put to death. That the pagans would carry out this ordeal over days. So she took her money and bought wrappings and medicine and food and drink and she went to where the tortures were taking place, to the prisons. And she would go and she would bind up the wounds of those who were being tortured. And she would give them drink and she would give them food. And if she could, she would even unloose their bonds and, and let them go. Obviously, she was doing this mostly in secret because it was highly illegal. And one of her titles is the looser of bonds because of this action. Day after day after day, she would go and she would do this, ministering to those who were being tortured for their faith. 
as her fame among the Christians and among the pagan poor and the sick grew, they began to ask her for her prayers. Because many people, very sick, were being exposed to uh, bad water, bad food, poisons, and even potions from magicians that were being given to them. And it would make them very, very, very sick. And so by her prayers, she would deliver these people from these illnesses. And so another one of her titles was the deliverer of potions or the pharmacist. Finally, her fame spread so widely that it became apparent to Diocletian and his servants that she was a Christian. And they wanted to make an example of her, and so they took her and publicly tortured her and prolonged that torture over a long period of time until she was finally thrown into a fire and she gave up her soul to God. But so many people witnessed her martyrdom that she is called a great martyr, a great witness, because of her steadfast faith in God and her unwillingness to deny him no matter what. Even before she was arrested, she identified with those Christians in such a deep sisterly way. Having such courage and, and bravery in the face of something illegal. She was a tremendous example of what it is to be a Christian then and today. And it's interesting that her name means resurrection. She so believed that Christ had trampled down death and that he was the resurrection and the life and the giver of life that she did not fear death, torture, pain, illness, or anything that the world could throw at her. She knew that if they arrested her and they tortured her and they put her to death, that it was but for her a Passover into eternal life. That all of her wealth and all of her status in Rome meant nothing. She tossed it aside, but she used it in such a selfless, self-sacrificial, loving way to minister to the least of the brethren. She saw the image of God in those poor, sick, tortured men and women. She identified with them as one. And so she drew many to Christ. Her life pointed the way to the Savior. Isn't this an example of what we're supposed to be in our time, in our place? We are not to fear death. We are not to fear whatever the world in this temporal existence can throw at us. We are, in fact, to see all of that as a means of Passover into eternal life. It doesn't mean we throw our life away. It doesn't mean that we're foolish. It doesn't mean that we're not good stewards of our bodies, of time, of all that God puts into our possession. It just means that we don't fear these things because we believe in the resurrection. We are called and invited like her to see the image of God in each person, to venerate them by how we treat them, to identify with them in a oneness, a one spiritual family, whether they're Christian, whether they're pagan, whether they're rich, poor, it doesn't matter. God created all, God died for all, God loves all. And if we identify with Christ, then we follow his example. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's follow Anastasia, the great martyr, as she followed Christ. Let us be this kind of person that she was in her time and place to the people around us. Let us be lights in a dark world. And maybe we're not named Anastasia, at least not all of us, but let us 
live as if we truly believe every single day, every single moment, and every single decision as if Christ has indeed risen from the dead, trampled down death by his death, and is the bestower of life to all of us. And have no fear. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, that ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages.
Christians in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Pandonimon, Pandon ton evsavon, ke orthodoxon, Christianon, Nisti Kyrios o Theos, and the Vasili of Tu, Pandoten in Keai, Keistus Eonas ton To the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Hear Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. For a Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Peace be with all, Irini Pasi, and with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Christ is in our midst. Peace and always shall be. Father, Son, and Holy the Trinity, one in essence and in a <clears throat> 
The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. An offering of peace, a sacrifice of The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. With this proper It is proper and right to him you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever and forever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of angelic host, heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Lavete, fagete, tutum vestito soma, toi perimon clomenon is afasina martion. Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Pietex of tu pandas, Tu tu esti to emamu, to tis kenis diathikis, to iperimon gebalone hinomanoni, safasina martion. Your own of your own. 
own we offer to you in all and for all. Tasa ecton son, si prospero men, kata panda kedia panda. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the singer, Bible, we pray for the saints and Jesus in the name of the Lord. And make this prayer the precious body of your Christ, Amen, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Truly you are worthy to be blessed, Mother of our God the Theotokos, you the ever blessed one and the all blameless one, and the Mother of our God. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. Among the first, remember, Lord Archbishop Isaiah, grant in your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health on the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind, and all the people. And all your people. I grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Let our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked of the, for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you, oh Lord. <clears throat> and grant, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, the Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Pasi, peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O 
Oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O Theos, who lies to me, to our Lord, O Kele, so may, O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive, proskomen. The holy gifts are for the holy people of God. Taiatisais. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, for the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who comes into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the remission of sins, and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy. But cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O men, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine errors you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you so that leaping for joy, I may magnify, O oh good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O oh Lord, the filth of my soul and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. In eternal memory, the have only one chalice and we'll be right here in the middle so we'll have this side come first 
and you'll exit back around and come back to your pews, then this middle, then this middle, and then this side. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Metaphovu theu peace theos ke agapis proselthate. Servant of God. Thank you. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the heavenly spirit. We now have found the true faith by our worshiping the undivided Trinity.
Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, that your glory cover the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, that your glory cover the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory cover the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. Because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries, Keep us in your sanctification, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Yes, Having prayed for a holy, perfect, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, you. We give thanks to you, O Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our lives, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to you we offer up glory <clears throat> to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not <coughs> forsake us who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, and to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. The name of the Lord is blessed forever, from this time forth, forever and forever. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, foreigner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and most praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, of the holy, great martyr, St. Catherine, the patroness and protectress of this holy church, of our Father among the saints, John Christum, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrated, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy great martyr, Anastasia, the deliverer of bonds and potions, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect each of us to the Anastasias. God grant you many years. Uh, Thursday is Christmas Eve. We have royal hours at 9 a.m. And then we have two Christmas Eve Vesperal Divine Liturgies of St. Basil the Great, one starting at 4 and the other at 6. And then on Christmas Day, we have 
Orthros and Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom, 